Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the Technical Manager here at QNAP UK. Uh, today I wanted to do a supplemental video to our QSync application. Uh, so we did a video not too long ago showing uh, how to use it, some of the basic functions of it. Um, the way QSync traditionally worked was that you would be able to um, add files to your QSync folder and they'd sync between your computer and the NAS and you could have team folders and other users sharing the data. Um, but you could never have access to the entire NAS with this feature because you need um, the local space to store it. So if you have a NAS with two terabytes of storage, um, two terabytes of data on it, but you've only got a, a laptop with a 512 gig SSD, um, you just can't get that amount of data all synced across um, with QSync using that. You just don't have the free space locally. Um, the new feature I want to talk about is called Space Saving. Um, currently, it's only available in uh, QSync version 5 or higher, um, which is currently only released for Windows machines. Uh, the Mac OS version will be out in a month or two. Um, but what this is going to allow you to do is effectively see everything that's on the NAS if you want to. And you can choose whether or not certain folders are synced or not. But even if a folder is not synced, it means you still have access to it if you're online. Um, so to use this feature, uh, you have to go into View and Manage Paired Folders once you've got the uh, the new version of the software installed. Uh, so I've added a couple of different folders here. So I've got my default one of Home slash uh, QSync. So that's the one that's normally added by default. But what I've done here is I've added an entire network share. Um, I don't have a whole lot of data in it, but if you did have uh, several terabytes of data there that wouldn't fit on the local storage, um, this is a really good feature that you can add. So if you add a folder, you'll see the space saving options at the bottom, or you can edit your existing ones if you're adding this to a system that's already up and running. So by clicking the edit button, you can choose whether or not space saving mode is enabled or disabled, um, and you can choose um, the sort of policy of it. So there's a little help file here that says you've got to turn on storage sense within Windows uh, to be able to use uh, some of the features, but that's on by default, uh, or it was on my copy of Windows 10 here that I'm running. Um, so this is all enabled on the one that I've got. So to give you a demonstration of how it works, on here is the public on NAS folder that I've created. So this is part of the QSync folder I've got. And right now we can see a uh, sort of outline of a cloud. That means this folder is being accessed right now by me clicking through and clicking on different things um, live from the NAS. I don't have this folder synced locally onto this machine. Uh, what you can do is you can right click on that folder and you've now got an extra menu called space saving mode. So you can choose to always keep um, on this device. Uh, you can free up space but keep it on the NAS um, or locally available. So you've got a few different options. So if I change this option here to always keep on this device, what it's going to do, it's going to sync all the data that's up on that NAS in that folder down to my local storage so that I do have a copy of it. So there we can see that we've now got a, a synchronization completed. If I just refresh that, uh, we can see that we've now got a tick box there saying that this folder is now synced completely locally. So everything in that folder uh, will be available to me if I'm offline as well. So it doesn't have to be uh, connected to the internet for me to access that. If you ever want to change it, you can simply right click again, go to space saving, and you can say free up space, but keep it on the NAS, and it will immediately change back uh, to the outline of a cloud to let you know that it's not using space locally on your machine anymore. Um, so that's a, a very quick look at the new feature. We call it space saving. Um, it's available in QSync uh, for Windows machines currently, uh, but check back in a, uh, in a couple of months. Uh, hopefully by um, perhaps middle of May, we should have it available for Mac OS as well. Um, if anybody has any questions, please do ask them in the comments section below. We're pretty quick at replying, so we'll be able to answer any questions that you've got on this feature. Okay, thanks very much for watching.